Hey y'all! So today I'm going to show you how I routinely boil um, Jake Jr.'s sippy cups. Um, and it's good to do that because as I found out in the middle of shooting this video, you can think that you have a clean cup, but it is actually disgusting. I'm going to insert a clip, it's really really gross, of what a cup might look like if it's been sitting in the cabinet for a while. So let me just say, all of Jake Jr.'s cups get cleaned daily. If he uses it, it gets cleaned that day. Um, so this cup, I have not been using these cups because they have this piece. If you have the sippy cup, you know exactly what this is. And I just felt like I couldn't clean the inside of it. And even boiling it, like if I can't see every part of it, it's just not clean to me. So um, he hasn't been using any sippy cups that look like this. So I had clean, and there he has two of them. I had cleaned them and put them in the cabinet. And they had been sitting in there probably a over a month. Well... This is what I pulled out of the cabinet as I was boiling sippy cups. That is so gross. Oh my god, that is so gross. It's in my baby's cup. That was in my child's cup, y'all. That's so gross. I'm so embarrassed. And the bad thing is, this lid was on. So they were coming through the little hole on top. Oh, so gross. Yeah, so that's gross. So I will absolutely never use these again. Ooh, so, but I did boil it anyways just because I didn't even want that to live. But anyway, I will never be able to look at these guys and not think of what I found in the bottom of that cup. So gross. Most of his sippy cups are either like um, this one or just a rubber plastic um, nipple piece that goes on. I try to boil all of his sippy cups and pacifiers once a week because, you know, those things I don't put in the dishwasher, I hand wash them. You know, just in case there's any bacteria or molds left over, even after I, or you know, even with washing. So I'll show you the video of how, um, what I do, the process. So I'm going to show you a video of my um, sanitizing process for his bottles, sippy cups, and pacifiers. Okay, my water is now boiling. So I'm just going to put all of these cup parts and I, you got to take this part off of, um, oops, yeah, the lid or yeah, because otherwise, well, because you want it to be able to clean in here and this side. Um, and I did rinse all this stuff out first also all right and then I'm gonna get my tongs and just try and submerge everything I have to move it around. Okay, so yeah, let this stuff sit in there for um, about five minutes, and then I'm just going to set it out to dry once it's all finished. So there you have it. Um, very, very simple. It doesn't take very long at all. So I definitely recommend you other mamas out there to boil your sippy cups, bottles, and passies at least once a week. 
and of course wash them after every use. Hope this video was helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.